Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on another BH product. This is from the Marble Collection that they just come out with. They come out with two separate palettes. They come out with this really pretty gray marble which is the warm stone one. And they come out with this one right here which is this like pretty marble pink packaging and this is supposed to be the cool stone one. So basically like I said they kind of give you guys um, a good selection whether you like warm shades or cooler shades. Um, they do just come in a little box like this and the um, Back of them, I'm pretty sure it says the exact same thing. The uh, warm tone one just says that it is a 12 color eyeshadow palette that features highly pigmented neutral mattes and shimmers that can be applied individually, blended, and intensified to create di daytime glam as well as nighttime drama. And then the cool tone one says that it features a multi-tone mix of pigment rich mattes and shimmers that can be applied individually or blended and intensified to add a distinctive polish to day and evening makeup looks. So basically what I'll do is I'll swatch the whole palette for you guys. So you Alright guys, so starting out with the warm tone palettes and the cool tone as well because the packaging overall on both of them I think is beautiful. I really do love the gray marble. I think it's gorgeous. And then it's just regular plastic packaging. Now opening it up, as always, BH Cosmetics always gives you like a huge, generous size mirror. I hope I'm not blinding you guys, but a huge mirror, which I do really like. Now going on with the shades, I do have a combination of a couple of the shades on my eyes today. This is what's all over my lid, and then I do have this in my crease, and as well as a color from the um, Cool Tone Palette. But I want to kind of talk about these shades because I do think that it's a hit or miss. So basically in this one you do get six mattes, which are these four right here, and then this uh, gray right here, and then this um, peachy warm tone shade. Those are the matte shades in here. As far as the four, these four matte shades, I do really like them. I think that they blend really nicely. Um, I do like to build them up a little bit. You do get a little bit of fallout. They kind of remind me of like the Little Rock ones where when you dip in the matte shades, you know, you get kind of um, quite a bit of fallout. That's kind of how these are. It's not bad or anything like that, but I did just want to mention that. The only matte one that I don't really like is this gray shade right here. I find that it kind of gets really patchy on my eyes, and as much as I try to build up the color, it just kind of fades away, and it's really hard to just get, um, you know what I'm saying, like my desired like pigmentation from this specific shade. Um, moving on to this shade right here. This one right here is um, a really nice one to kind of darken up like your outer V area. I do like it, but when I did try to run this into my crease, I noticed that it did get a little bit patchy. But as long as I kind of just kept it on like the outer V, um, like I said, I didn't have any issues with it. Um, now moving on to the rest of the shades. These two right here, I really do like. This is like a really pretty gold shade that you could use on your inner corner. I do really like it. And I like this shade as well. I actually wore this entire row the other day and got so many compliments on this shade. It's a beautiful like peachy shade with that golden undertone. It kind of reminds me there's a shade in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette that looks like this. And then NYX has a prismatic eyeshadow that looks like this as well. So really like those two. Moving on to this one, it's gorgeous. These three right here have a really smooth, buttery texture and they're really pigmented. Again, like really beautiful shades. I find that these three are the most pigmented. So um, they've all got that. It's not like a foiled, but it's just, it's really, it's not quite wet, but it's super buttery and it gives kind of like that wet appearance on the eyes, really beautiful. And this one is the only other one that I just don't like at all. I find that it's really patchy when I go like this, it's really chalky. I can't get it to build up on my eyes no matter what and I just do not like this color at all. So overall I do really like the Warm Tone palettes. It is a palette that I'm going to gravitate towards from day to day because for me this does have colors that I can wear you know, on a day to day basis. Or at nighttime, like I said, with these darker shades right here, it's a you know something that I can you know use for daytime. So overall, I do really like the warm tone palette. Um, as far as the longevity of these eyeshadows, as I have mentioned in like my other BH Cosmetics like reviews on their eyeshadows, they're not the longest wearing. Um, I do like I said always make sure to use a primer with these because if I don't, I do you know notice creasing pretty quickly. But these do last, I'd say, about five to six hours on my eyes and then they kind of start to crease and once they kind of start creasing then you know it really kind of starts to go so especially on me because I have quite hooded eyes. Um, now moving on to the cool tone one again you got the same packaging as I mentioned. This one I'm not a super big fan of I'll just be honest I think that it does have really pretty like um, 
you know, like pops of color. But as far as the matte shades, you don't get as many matte ones in here. You get a total of five matte shades. These two, this dark brown, this dark plum, and this gray. I don't know what it is with like their gray and darker shadows, but again, I'm not a fan of this one. It's not as bad as like the other ones, but I just don't feel like it blends out the best on the eyes and it's not my favorite. The other matte shades in here I do really like. Again, I think that they're nice and they're smooth. You do get a little bit of fallout. Now moving on to a couple of shades. These four shades right here, this lavender, this like blue gray, and this navy blue, and this dark black, they're like the warm tone ones, those that I mentioned in the bottom. They're really buttery, really pigmented, and beautiful on the eyes. I did a smoky um, eye look with this one the other day, and again, I loved it. This one does have a little bit of like glitter fallout. I just wanted to mention that. Um, the only two in this palette that like, I absolutely just despise are these two right here. They're very similar and you cannot really tell if they're on the eyes whatsoever. I don't really think that it was a necessity to put these two in here. I find that this one right here is kind of like that pink one in the last one. Again, it's like when I try to pick it up, like there's product going everywhere. And this one's really pretty on the inner corner. But they both kind of still got like that um, kind of patchiness to them. Because I did try this one all over the lid. And like, again, I kept trying to build it up and build it up and it's just not my favorite. But this one, again, is just like, I mean, I'll kind of show you guys. It's really powdery. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really powdery and just overall like not my favorite. So um, this one, again, isn't one that I'd reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you're someone who really likes pops of color, I think that this is really beautiful. These purple shades right here are gorgeous and I think they'll complement like a lot of different skin tones. But for me, a day-to-day -day palette, I will be reaching for the warm tone palette. Um, but these do retail. I believe they were on sale on Beach Coat Collection. is usually $18, but they have them both on sale right now for $12. So definitely if you're wanting to pick these up, I would um, definitely recommend the Warm Tone one. I'm going to be honest, I'll probably pass the Cool Tone one along because I just don't see myself reaching for it. And there's no reason for it to set you know, in my collection and never be used. But I have been using the Warm Tone palette, like I said, nonstop. Again, like I said, it's what I've got on my eyes today. So I do really like it for 12 bucks. I think it's an incredible deal. Um, and I would highly recommend the Worm Tone one. But I guess, like I said, it's completely your preference of which one you'd like to try. But again, I do think the quality overall is great. Again, it's kind of a hit or miss with some of the shadows. But especially in this Worm Tone palette, like these three shades right here, I would totally be willing to pay um, $12 for those three shades on their own. Um, and then again, this is just a really pretty like, unique shade, this um, pink shade is. So overall, I do really like them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of short like mini review and swatches. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.